Mr. Heusken, there are many negative signals in the world. The Ukraine war is still going on, the supply chains are not working properly, yet the mechanical engineering industry is quite optimistic for 2023. Where's that coming from? Well, you're right. There is a lot of negative psychology, a lot of skeptical emotions out there. And we also see a lot of reasons for this uh, skeptical uh, emotions. However, if we look at facts and figures for our industry, what we recognize is that we are on the stable path. If you look at the order intake situation, it is still moving sideways on a stable path. Production in 2022 will be slightly above 2021, and the order backlog is even close to 12 months. One very important market for the mechanical engineering industry is China, and things seem to be deteriorating there. So how do you deal with that topic? Well, if you look at the portfolio of chances and risks in China, we see a significant shift. For over 25 years, China has been a country, an export market full of chances, and now it looks like it is a country full of risks. So companies have to consider a plan B. How do they react? How do they act? if their market share in China starts eroding, which is definitely possible. Do we see kind of a disruptive development in China? No, it remains an important market for our industry. On the other side of the Atlantic, the Biden administration is luring companies with, a, with the IRA, the Inflation Reduction Act, come into the US, bring a production along and everything will be fine. So does that mean there will be an exodus of companies going to the US? Well, we will not see a de-industrialization of Germany. I'm really not afraid of this effect. Um, uh, however, if you look at the Inflation Reduction Act, the IRA, there might be something we can even learn uh, from that. How do you create a relatively simple framework which is attracting investments in transformation and green technology? Something uh, the EU is working on as well in a far more um, complex uh, surrounding. So there's something to learn from that. Um, however, um, if you look at Europe and especially Germany, there are a lot of advantages of uh, working and manufacturing here, which should also be mentioned. So what would be foremost on your wish list uh, to the EU and the German government for next year? <laughs> well, you won't be surprised, but uh, the basic wish is a greater understanding for the requirements of doing business, making doing business in Europe simple and not complex, reduce bureaucracy and regulation instead of increasing bureaucracy and regulation. Again, there might be something to learn from the USA. Thank you very much. Thank you.